Hello and welcome to today's edition of the program People in the News. My name is Theophilus Ilama, your host for today. Today we have some very interesting events to bring for your viewing pleasure. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. Family and friends gathered at the Baptist Church in Lagos to celebrate the life and times of Alice Mudupe, who is seen as a mother, a friend, and a mentor. We have some footage from that story. Nineteenth of July 2024 was a memorable and befitting day as family and friends gathered to pay their last respects to late Mrs. Alice Modupe Obielodon. The day started with a church service at the Ikoyi Baptist Church, Ikoyi, Lagos State. The officiating minister who welcomed all attendees explains the reason for the gathering, which is to honor and celebrate the life of Mrs. Alice Obielodo. This led to prayer and thanksgiving for a good life spent, and then the Bible readings followed. This corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. For moments like this, tributes and memories are some of the highlights, and this occasion was not an exception, as family members shared unforgettable memories they had with the late Mrs. Obielodon, not leaving out her good deeds on the side of eternity. Mama was a strict disciplinarian who believed in using the rod to lovingly correct us while growing up. When she makes up her mind to flog any of us, there was no way we could escape it. You must receive your beating, but she will ensure you eat her delicious meal even after you have been beaten. Mrs. Alice Obielodon was remembered as a prayer warrior, a heartwarming and lovable person. Aside being religious, she was also industrious and hardworking. The kind of spiritual heritage Mama left. Can you imagine Mama say, let me not see you in church. Oh, what an heritage. The service also had exhortations by Reverend Dr. Olushe Gwadeleke and electrifying musical performances and hymns by the church choir. <laughs> As a service came to a close, the family members and other well wishes were called forward for thanksgiving and prayers. Father, we pray that your peace in their heart will be great. We pray that you fill their hearts with joy. That the Lord has been joined us to celebrate our mind. You want to just know The service ended with a processional hymn, and the procession moved to the cemetery where the final rites were performed. At the reception, guests were welcomed to a well-decorated hall from the backdrop that had pictures of the memories of Mrs. Alice Modukbe Obielodon. A live band was on standby, filling the hall with melodious rhythms 
that encourage many guests to move their bodies as they dance to the rhythm. Guests were also treated to sumptuous meals and a variety of drinks. It was a well-rounded celebration. Friends and well-wishers share their heartfelt condolences to the family. Well, at this time, we condole with the family of Mama who have passed. Our sincere prayer is that God will sustain them. She was a great woman, had six children all her life. She had seen her grandchildren and her great-grandchildren. And we pray that the kind of grace, the blessing, the favor which was on her life will pass on to her children her grandchildren and her great-grandchildren. I don't know Mama much, but the way she has brought up her children, we know that Mama was a Christian, a good Christian. We all brought up Iyabo, who is Dukines Mary's junior sister. And we have seen from all the children and the grandchildren that Mama brought her children up in God's way. May her soul rest in peace, in Jesus' name. Indeed. The impact of a good woman cannot be forgotten as the children and grandchildren of Mrs. Alice Mudukbe Obiolodon recounted more memories of her. Oh, she's a pleasant uh, woman, um, really pleasant. Yeah. I like her because I like good food and she cooks a lot, you know, <laughs> so that's one thing I enjoy with her. Uh, been the firstborn too. I was like a pet, always around her in the kitchen. So you can see why I love good food. <laughs> She's quite a woman of prayer. She prays a lot. She's always believing positively that things will work. When you have issues and you talk to her, she said, don't worry, God will solve it. So she's a praying woman. Uh, she left that legacy with us. Again, too, she was. Um, she was able to hold the family. When uh, dad was away on training in the 60s, for three years, 62 to 65 in Britain, she was all alone with us, taking good care of us. You know, I cared for mama longest. She stayed with me very, very long. I think one of the things I cherish so much about her is her prayer life, because it has worked for me. It has worked for me even while I had some delays, like child, some delays in life, her prayers had worked. Because my mother is a woman of great faith. When she tells you, I know God will do it, she will hold on tightly. Her faith was unshakable, unshakable faith. Her devotion to God was unshakable. My mother does not toy with anything, anything that would defile, anything that is ungodly. She will not joke with it. Her devotion to God, she served God till her last breath. And then she doesn't, the Bible says, um, spare the rod and spoil the child. My mother does not spare the rod. She will be quick in beating you, but she will give you so much love and ensure you eat her delicious meal. She cooks very well. And I cook very well. All, in fact, most of us, let me not say all, my mother is highly industrious. She sews, she kneads. She bakes, you know, so she really impacted our lives. At an early age, we too became serious with the things of God. Every one of us, we are happily married with our children. I have grandchildren, so I just give all the glory to God. I have a beautiful mother, and I make bold to say my mother was beautiful in and out because she has the love of God inside of her, and she manifests it. In, you know, through her behavior and the way she impacts people, lovingly, caringly, good mother. Most important memory I have about her is she loved God so much. She was so prayerful. She was a pray. She was a praying woman, and it's from her I learned how to pray. She would pray for her children and pray and mention her children's name one by one when she prayed for us. And it's from there, there I learned how to pray for my children, mentioning their names as well when I pray for every one of my children. 
So that is the most important thing, I, the most important memory I had about her. She was very industrious, very industrious. She was uh, a tailor, not tailor maybe sewing for people, but sewing for us. She was sewing good styles for us. And then she was also knitting. She learned knitting, how to knit. And she was always knitting for every one of us. She would package it and give it as her own gift for each, every one of her children. I have four children. She did everything like that for my children. Well, I believe she's already at the bosom of the, of the Almighty. So I don't think I need to pray for her again. But I, I have that belief that she's already resting in the bosom of the Lord. She's a very prayerful woman. She's a warrior of battles and prayer. She's very caring, very loving. She took care of all of us, very prayerful. She brought us up together to know how to pray, um, going to church. She's very loving, she's very loving and caring. So I'll miss her for all that. And when she was strong, she was cooking delicious meals for us. So shortly before she passed on, she was already weak and she couldn't give us those delicious meals. So I would miss all those things. Many fond memories. I remember when we used to go to Isonlu, our mama would cook delicious egusi soup for us. It's pounded yam. I will miss her food so much. Mama was the best cook ever. Thank God my mom is learning from her. But <laughs> mama was an excellent cook. Mama was very thorough, very disciplined. Mama would, um, she was, because she was quite young when she became a grandmother, she, she had she was a grandmother at 49 so she had enough energy for us um, she would make sure that anything that we do that was wrong she would discipline us for it she won't say because we are grandchildren she will pamper us I remember when I was waiting and trusting God for children my mom would encourage me every time I say don't worry you must have children she was a strong woman of faith her faith was unshaken she had so much confidence in God when mama would talk about God you think she sees God face to face mama had so much trust in God she loved God with all of her hearts her last words when she was passing was Yadura to Tibori, Motibori and in her honor we also did um, a customized outfit because she was still proclaiming victory even in death. One I actually have that will forever be with me was when I was much younger and we used to travel to the village every December. I really, really liked pig milk and that particular day my mom was fed up of me licking so much pig milk. And then grandma goes, oh she should go away, she should go and sit down. She brings a very big bowl of pig milk, pours like nearly nearly full bowl and gives it to me with a spoon and I just sat there licking it and I can never ever ever forget that day. But rest her so I, I know that she's in a better place and I know that definitely she's resting. Grandma is an amazing woman. I mean, I didn't get to spend more time, but the little time I get to spend with Grandma, she's so lovely. I mean, she gives you such compliments. She prays for you. She's just very sweet and, you know, she will keep talking about her husband. So it's just an evidence that she's a great woman, she's a great wife, and uh, she's a great mother to our children. Of course, a great, um, a very amazing grandmother and amazing Great grandmother, I mean, pray that she continues to rest well in the bosom of the Lord. Grandma was a wonderful woman, a woman who feared God, a woman who had a lot of faith. You know, um, she was she was one who cared about her children so deeply, and I could see that even for us as grandchildren. Anytime we come visiting, she's always very happy, always smiling, asking questions. How are you? How is work? You know, how is um, are you married? Are you planning to marry? In all those things, she was always deeply concerned about the well-being of her children and grandchildren. And she was a woman of faith. Uh, she was someone who believed in God, who believed that God can do everything. Even though, if, even, even when she had challenges, she believed God could do it. And that's something I've always um, held on to as a, as a son or a grandson. My great-grandma, she's very kind and nice. She loves to pray. And she can fast. I miss Grandma so much. May the soul of Mrs. Alice Modukbe Obiolodon continue to rest in the bosom of her maker.